In the presentation entitled Geometric Series Part 1, we wrote down a series containing just powers of x, showed how this could be written as a summation using the sigma symbol of powers x to the n, and then we demonstrated that under certain conditions on x, the series converges to the function 1 over 1 minus x. The particular conditions that are necessary for this to happen are that the absolute value of x should be less than 1. Or to put that another way, x is between negative 1 and positive 1. In that case we say this series converges to 1 over 1 minus x. In the following pages I want to look at what happens when we change the variable from x to something else. Before doing that though, there's just something I'd like you to be aware of. It just so happens that if we define f of x as 1 over 1 minus x and write out its series, then it so happens that that is actually also the Taylor series for the function f of x. Expand it about the point x equals 0. We're not going to discuss anything more on Taylor series here, but that's just a fact that it's worth being aware of. Let's now move on and do something different. I'm now going to come at the problem from the other direction. Instead of starting with a series, I'm going to start with a function. This time I've chosen 1 over 1 minus x on 2. The only difference between this and 1 over 1 minus x is that there is the extra factor of a half there with the x. It would be perfectly reasonable to expect that this might have a series formed by taking 1 plus x over 2 plus x over 2 squared plus x over 2 cubed and so on. In fact we just replace x with x over 2 in the original series. Well this is indeed the case but we have to be a bit careful about the convergence. In the original series we required that the variable x was between negative 1 and 1. Now the variable is not x but x over 2 so for this series to converge it is necessary that the absolute value of x over 2 is less than 1. We could rewrite this as a condition for x by saying the absolute value of x is less than 2, simply multiplying by 2 both sides. Or to put that another way, x should be between negative 2 and 2. This series converges for x between negative 2 and 2. The factor of a half that has appeared here has given the series a wider range of convergence. If instead of a half we had a number bigger than 1, then we might expect possibly a smaller range of convergence. So now let's look at 1 over 1 minus 3x. Here to get the geometric series we simply replace x with 3x. We could expand the brackets to get 1 plus 3x plus 9x squared plus 27x cubed and so on. But now we expect convergence only when the absolute value of 3x is less than 1. Or in other words, the absolute value of x is less than 1 third. That means that this series only works if negative a third is less than x is less than positive a third. Another commonly encountered series is that for 1 over 1 plus x. The geometric series formula requires that we have 1 minus something. So we have to rewrite the plus as minus a negative. The variable is now negative x. So the series for this function will be 1 plus negative x plus negative x squared plus negative x all cubed and so on and we see here now that the sign of the terms will alternate. Let's 
etc. Here we require that the absolute value of negative x is less than 1, but the absolute value kills off a negative sign, so it's just absolute value x less than 1 as for the original series. So far, the changes we've made to the function have been in the variable a half x, 3x, plus x, etc. What if the constant is not 1? Let's think about the following. Let's take 1 over 4 minus x. To write out the geometric series, it is really essential that we start with 1 in the denominator. We can achieve this by pulling out a factor of 4. The price we pay for doing that is that the x now has to be divided by 4. Now we can develop the series in the usual way. But there is a factor of 1 over 4 at the front. So on. That's a quarter plus x over 16 plus x squared over 64, and so on. Here, the variable in the expansion is x over 4, so we require that the absolute value of x over 4 is less than 1. Putting that another way, the absolute value of x is less than 4. Here's another one. 1 over negative 1 minus x. Once again we don't like the negative 1 but we can factor it out. The price we pay is that we get 1 plus x instead of 1 minus x but we know a series to match that function. All we have to do is keep the overall minus that's appeared there at the front and then do the series expansion for 1 over 1 plus x and remember that has the alternating sign plus x cubed and so on uh, and it's minus. We have to alternate the sign. Here the variable is negative x so the absolute value of negative x must be less than 1 or as we recall that means the same as the absolute value of x is less than 1. To conclude, I'd like to do something just a little more sophisticated. Up to now we've looked at the function 1 over 1 minus x and we've written down its geometric series and we've decided that it only works or converges if the absolute value of x is less than 1. Sometimes we would like to have a series which converges for the absolute value of x bigger than 1. So let's ask the question, can we find a series that converges when the absolute value of x is greater than 1 rather than less than 1. Well, it turns out there is a way to do this. What we have to do is factor out an x in the bottom. So the answer is yes. I'm going to write 1 over 1 minus x is the same as 1 over Let's factor out a negative x. That's going to make minus 1 over x plus 1, which is the same as negative 1 over x multiplied by 1 over 1 minus x. The minus 1 over x can sit at the front of everything. And what remains is 1 over 1 minus x. We can write down a geometric series for that, which is going to be 1, over, 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 over x cubed, and so on. And now the magic, the convergence for this is when the absolute value of 1 over x is less than 1. 1 divided by x is less than 1. That means that the absolute value of x needs to be greater than 1 for this uh, series to work and converge. In fact, it fulfills the criterion that we set for ourselves at the beginning. 
can we find a series that converges when absolute value of x is greater than 1? The answer is yes, but the series will involve reciprocals of x. That concludes my presentation of part 2 on geometric series.